Good day, guys. Being here, and oh, actually, Merry Christmas, everyone.、Um, today, I'm going to talk about some basic、uh, of basics of family adaptive adaptive families. Okay, so let's start. So first, I'm going to create a, an adaptive family. So adaptive family, the template of adaptive family is here. It's it's just. About、uh, here, so next to all these generic model, so we all know that. So generic model is a basic, is a very, the most basic basic、um, model. So it's a, so if we create a generic model, so you will see all these. These are the tools we use, and of course we can change it to different type, uh, different uh, 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 category, right? So this is generic model, but. The ad,、uh, generic model adaptive is very different to the generic model. It's、um, although look、uh, the names very similar, but、uh, it's actually a mess environment. So you can you can see from this、uh, preview here. So this is mess. So it's different to all the the rest of these. Okay, and also、um, if you.、Um, If you go to conceptual math, so you will see this is a similar environment. So it's a math environment. So conceptual math, and also I think the other、um, math environment is here. So adaptive. Okay. So pattern, curtain panel, pattern based. So that's a very similar to、uh, adaptive family. But today I'm going to talk about adaptive family. So. Once we open this,、uh, start this、um, adaptive family. So we will see. So this is a mess. We don't have extrusion sweep、uh, uh, those tools. So the only thing we have is, you know, we、uh, actually、uh, let me just try.、Um, yeah. So we need to have some lines or profiles to uh, uh, to create any solid or void. So Let me just quickly show you. So you can use either model line or reference lines. So the difference, is,、um, the difference is model lines. So first you can tell from the color, and another one、uh, difference is so with model line once you create a form, it's it's gone. Okay. So if you create so for example if I do some two lines together and then create a form. And you will say it's 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 actually gone. You can still select edge, but it's not no longer that model line. Okay, but if you do reference line and create a form, the reference line. Oh, sorry. I, 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 let me slow down. Create a form. So pick the option. So this one, and so this is the the form we created. And also there's a. Reference lines are still here, so you can still adjust. Of course, you can still adjust the reference line. Okay, so but this one you can select the edge, but you are, you you can in some so for example in this case you can still adjust this, but sometimes when you create a solid uh uh complicated uh shape and it's uh you probably it's a little bit hard for you to to uh change the shape so. If you want to still adjust the shape after you create a form, reference line. Okay, most of the time reference line. Okay, so now let's have a look. So adaptive family. So today, yes. So this is part of a mass environment. Okay, all the mass environments are very similar. So, but today,、uh, because this is adaptive family, I'm going to show you the difference between mass. Uh, just conceptual mass and adaptive family. So adaptive family. So the difference is so you can create points. So so first, you, you, I think this is a very sim、uh, exact. Probably is exactly the same to、uh, conceptual mass. But once you create some point in here, and then if you select this point, now this is the difference. So make adaptive. So which means these point. Can be used、um, uh, to uh, it's can be used to placed in the project, and you can adjust this point, and your model will adapt 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 this point. For example, so I'll just show you some、uh, quick example. 
Okay, so if I create, so you don't have to make adaptive. So you can just use this generic model adaptive to create a conceptual mass. So for example, this one, I'm going to uh, maybe select create a spline, make it a reference line, select this one, create make a reference line, and select these two, and I'll just create a, a create a, a face. Okay, so this one. So that's it. So if you let me just create a new pro project. Okay. And if you load this into the project and you will say so this is it oh uh, where, where is it so let me just go to 3d view yeah so go back to floor plan uh maybe just vv so i think that's the default setting of the floor plan so go up see this one mass and also another option is you can go to site and click on this one uh hell not this one sorry and we still need to go back here. So check the mess. Oh, it's not here. Um, maybe go to 3D view. I think it's probably some setting. Uh, I just, yep, yeah, just let's skip that. But this is it. Okay, so you won't be able to adjust the shape of this because we don't have any adaptive points in this family. So let's now go back to floor plan okay so what i will do is i'll select these four points make adaptive so now you will see we have one two three four and also the the the, the sequence of these points are very important so you will see one two three four okay so which means when we place all these points we should just follow the you know a uh, clock uh, uh, clockwise uh, so if I go load this back into 3d view override it looks like exactly the same but once you move your uh, uh, curse onto this uh, uh, family so you will see this you, you will see the, po the shape of this point and also you can select this point okay if we select this <clears throat> if you select this family you will see this number and also you can select the point and now you can adjust this point okay so this is in the project so which means you can change the shape to whatever you like or well, not whatever you like but to different shape so for each one so for example if i create a new cs create similar so now instead of place just the whole family now you start from the point one, okay? So you can point place point one, two. So make sure, make sure you follow the the the, the number. Okay. So if you do it the other way, so three, four, it will tell you, oh, we can't do this. Okay. So you just need to uh, do it this way, so clockwise, or just uh, uh, match the uh, the number in this family, uh, in in the family environment. Okay, and also this is sometimes quite useful. So for example, if I uh, create, I want to create some shade structure. So a column uh, um, height, where's my height? Go here, vertical height, one, two, three, four, change the height, maybe make it higher, five meter. And then you can see it's create something, you know, on top of them and then create some shape structure so quite easy <clears throat> and also let me just go back here okay so and let me try something else so i'll delete this because you won't be you won't be able to create a form from this one so depending on how you create this face so so you just need to select this face and just click on this one and it will tell you because we created this face from these two reference line we won't be able to do this so what we can do is so i'll just uh you can delete this or dissolve this um yeah 
and instead of have create two, we can do this. So select these, select these two points, create create a spline through points, and usually see the color different color. So I'll just TL. So you can see uh, change, uh, maybe let me TL change your scale TL. Yeah. So now maybe make it 200. Oh, sorry, 50, uh, 50. 100, oh, interesting, 500, yeah. So now you can see the color of the line, so, uh, which means these are model lines. Uh, usually I will always check the reference line, okay? Um, when, when do you use model line? When you need to see this line in the project or in the family where this family will be nested okay otherwise reference line so now we have four a closed sketch so from this shape we can create a form so you can choose either a face or a solid so here i'm going to pick the face first so this is the shape of this face is exactly the same as the the one previous one so we create a from two reference line but the difference is we can create a, a solid from this one or you can just even select this one, drag this one, and create a solid form. Okay, so this is, um, yeah, so this can be used, um, for example, if I, I'll load this one into the project, okay, overwrite, and yeah, just delete the, them, and I'm going to, this can be useful, uh, I think, can be useful for, so sometimes when you create, a, when you need to create some a site plan, it doesn't need to be all rectangular, so you can just do some side plan, and uh, so this uh, this can be some neighboring building, and and um, the good thing is because generic model is cut it's cuttable, so which means it's joinable, okay? So you can join them to create some interesting you know site uh, content. Um, Okay, so what else? So this is just, uh, oh, sorry, I closed that project. Uh, that's fine. So this is uh, um, one example of uh, adaptive family. And another very important um, use for adaptive family, I think, is, um, let me just show you. So you can use it either in conceptual mass or project. So maybe I'll just do a project. So another very good use is it can be placed onto mass and you can repeat them just just like uh, very similar to uh, um, pattern based family. But so you have more um, uh, freedom of you know control control the family so I'll just do a model in place mass okay so here so in this project um, and I'll do a reference line maybe just a curve and go, go 3d view select this and I'm going to create a face okay so create a form so now you will see this is a and also uh, maybe let's make it a little bit more interesting so instead of have one curve so you can just create draw another one so this time I'm going to draw this on level one so set work plan and level one create another reference line so this time uh, another curve maybe different um, different direction and also um, you have the option to copy them up okay so copy them but usually you won't be able to but just shift so okay so it's not a good <laughs> um, um, exercise because you don't have a reference you don't have a work plan for this one so yeah but for this um, for this this exercise because I'm not going to do it a very uh, um, what should I say? It's just an example. Uh, show you an uh, um, example. So if you do a quick one, so you don't need to ha have reference a work plan for every single 
profile so you can just copy them up okay so now let's try to create something from this yeah so this is it so it's a little bit um, hard to see but if we change this to shade yeah that's the shape okay finish map oh hell so not finish mass edit in place go back and what i'm going to do is i'll just use divide divide surface and then so you will see all these different um all the grids to create a different uh, little box little shape uh not rectangular but yeah the shape and then if we do this so go to surface rep representation so this is a node so once you have the nodes and you can place adaptive family on these nodes okay so now go back to this family load this i'm going to load this into this project okay so go back to 3d view so what i'm going to do is i'll just place one two three four here so now you will see this rough shape so although the same is uh, the depth but it's match roughly match the 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 size or the shape of these grids and what you can do is you can select it and you will see this repeat okay it will automatically create create it following all these grids uh, this is a little bit no 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 not looking good but let me control z and you don't you have other options so you can sell, you can place another one so for example i'll just create another one so this time i'm going to so um place it um on different uh location or maybe this one here okay so now let's try select both of them create oh it's only this direction yeah so um just have a try yourself because depending on where you place and uh, which one you select when you do the repeat so it, the result will be very different okay oh <laughs> anyway that's that's it so this is another use of adaptive family so to be placed onto a, a divided surface and then you can use the repeat okay um what else adaptive family um yeah i think that's that's about it that and also you can do all the use reporting parameter or use a formula but that is a little bit um advanced i think this is it okay so based some basic of adaptive family so basically let's recap so adaptive family is a, a mass a family in a mass environment and it can be controlled so it doesn't need to be four you can have 20 if you want to you can have only one point if you want to but it can be so once you load this adaptive family into a project you have the option to still even this one so let me show you so see this one currently one two three four is on this so if you set if you want um maybe I don't want it to be there so I want to adjust so you can still always you can always try to select the point um yeah it's a little bit hard to select the point try to maybe do this select this family select this family hi so now you only have this family so now you can select the point very easily and once you select this point you have the option to pick your house um, let me do this pick your holes and then you you can place two different location so let me hr oh <laughs> let's try this one so this one pick new holes and then you can pick onto you know different location but depending on where you want to maybe this one yeah. so okay so let me just uh, um place uh, let me finish this mess sorry if i create this one i'll place this on the floor so this is for example this is the building right so the adaptive family the is um which means you can adjust all these points you can't add or remove points but 
you can adjust the location of the points. So, which means if you're using this for um, 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 a mass uh, building mass or your neighboring um, buildings, so you can adjust them quite easily. Okay. Oh. Um, that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I will see you next time. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Bye. Um, sorry. And also, because this is a basic, uh, some basic um, uh, exercise of adaptive family. So I'm go uh, also going to show you some basic mass mass um, modeling. Okay. So let me just. In, so this is in the family, so uh, adaptive family, which is a mess. So I'm going to quick, quickly show you some um, how to create a shape because we don't have, we don't have um, all the extrusions uh, or the revolve or the the sweep blend here. But the only thing we have is create create a form, and the only option is. Um, the options are the solid and void. So I'm going to show you how to create some of shape. Okay, so quickly. So first, um, uh, extrusion. So to do extrusion, you just need to create a, a closed. Uh, hang on, let me just uh, change the work plan to ground floor or level one. So just you can just click on this and then that's it. Okay, so reference line, so you just need to create a solid, or not solid, closed, closed shape. Okay, so whatever shape is, and then you can select, select all these edge and create a form and it will create. So you have, actually you have the option to create a face or, so just a solid. So you can do it straight away, do the solid straight away. Yeah, that's that's the only option or only two options you have from a closed shape. Okay, so this is extrusion and then um, revolve, I think. So for revolve, you need to have one line. Uh, let, let me make it a reference line. And you also need a closed shape. So for example, this. And then set up both of them, create a form, and that's it, a revolve. And I think you have the option to, you know, change this one. So I only need half, and that's it. So let's try it again. So, and actually, in a mask, I don't think you probably you, you. Oh, sorry, you don't need a close. You can even do this. You you can have a open. You can have an open profile and create a form, and then that's it. So. You will have face instead of solid, right? And or oh, you can even oh you can't delete sorry, <laughs> and you can change the change the. So I only want quarter of that, and okay, so that's revolve, and what else? Sweep, sweep. So full sweep. So let's do this. Um, full sweep. I think you will need. To uh, have a profile perpendicular to the the line, but to do that, you uh, first you just need to place a point and use draw on face, and then you will be able to place a profile. So for example, I'll just do this. Okay, so draw on this time, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the this perpendicular work plan of this point, and then draw a shape, something like this. Okay, so now with this profile, so this is, oh sorry, with this path selected and also control select this profile and create a form, uh, something this happens. Okay, so uh, sometimes <laughs> this happens. This is because relative to this curve, the shape is too big and when, you know, it won't work. So let's try, try to, I'll just RE scale it to make it smaller so now create a form that's it okay so this is sweep and um, now i'm going to dissolve this because i wanted to 
I want to create a sweep with different so uh, different size profile. Okay, so CC. I'll copy this one. Pick new host on here, and copy another one. Pick new host here. So now I'm going to scale this one RE to a little bigger. Oh, hell. So this one need to go here. And maybe I'll scale this one RE smaller. So now if I select one, two, three together with this path, create a form, and then we have this. So it will be different, uh, uh, more uh, swept blend kind of thing. Okay, so this is something you can't um, do in normal generic model. Um, what else? Sweep, blend. Yep, yeah, blend will be very similar. So you can have. So um, you can have. So for example, I'll just draw one shape on a on this level one. Oops, sorry. Set work plan. Um, pick this. And I'll just create one shape here. What I'm going to do is um, I'll just make reference line, go to front view. I'll see if I can copy them up. CC, up, no, shift, yes, go. So, and then I'll just RE, just make it smaller, maybe even rotate it a little bit, and then select these two, create a form, and then this is a blend. So very similar so um, to, um, we only have, because although we only have one tool, one tool here, create form, but it's very similar to the normal generic model, depending on what you select and Revit will create different element, different um, shape for you. Okay, so that's it. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.